I don't want to hear nothing about, oh, just do one or two things a day and mark it off the list. No! I want it done now. And I want it done right. So I cried up to the side of my mountain until you reach my peak bay. Good morning, y'all. It is April, I think the 13th. I'm looking a little rough because I just dropped the kids off to school. I am about to run into Walmart. Oh, I'm about to run into Walmart because I got to get a new journal for my manifestation book. The one I have is about full. Um, so I don't want to get caught flipping and not have one when I finish this. So I'm about to run to Walmart real quick. But y'all stay tuned because your girl is designing her own manifestation book because y'all know I am. Well, y'all might not know. But I'm big on manifestation, so I'm going, and I want to design my own. So, yeah, that's what I'm telling A lot of people don't know, but I'm actually a published author. I just never talk about it, um, but I guess I should. However, comma, when I finish uh, my latest project, y'all will be able to find them on my website at Miss. M Z Rain R A I N Ray R A Y Miss Rain Ray with a Z. But anywho, so I'm about to run into this here Walmart, and then I might get me some donut holes, although I don't need them. See, I keep saying I'm gonna do right, but then I do wrong, real wrong. And then tomorrow I'm leaving to go to Jacksonville, Florida. So y'all stay tuned for that travel vlog. I'm losing count of how many travel vlogs I need to upload. I really lost count. I think it's about eight or nine at this point once I add the Jacksonville travel vlog. But y'all stay tuned. And if y'all are from Jacksonville, Florida, put a duval in the comments. And I will check back in with y'all when I get in the store probably because you know when you go to Walmart, you need me, it's always something to see. So stay tuned. Okay, I'm back. So they only had one. See, this is why I'm in the process of creating my own journals because they don't be having enough um, designs for me. This was the only one in this size that they had in there. And I mean, it's cute or whatever, but if I had um, if I had more of a selection, I probably would not have picked this. One. Like, I'm looking for like some black girl magic, black girl uplifting type of journal cover. So that is what I'm going to create. It's near and dear to me because manifestation is very important to me. So I want to create my own. Nevertheless, when the last time y'all bought an Easter basket? Cause see, I pretty much stopped buying my kids Easter baskets because they, I mean, they just want candy. So I just buy them some candy, you know what I'm saying? They don't really want an Easter basket, they want. And Easter baskets are not what they used to be. They don't, like, they pretty much are empty now. It's just stuff with the, the paper or the shredded stuff. And then it has two pieces of candy and maybe a basketball in it. And you're paying $25 for that. The cheapest Easter baskets I just saw in Walmart was $11.98. And they ain't even all that. Let me show y'all because I'm at the red light. Okay, here's one. This is one of the better ones. Hopefully y'all can see it. Like, it's a really nothing in there like this is some Dollar Tree stuff that you're paying $12 for. It has some Smarties, M&M's and the Sour Patch and then the two little Dollar Tree items. This is not even worth $4. If you if you open this and buy this stuff individually it's not even $4. But yet, because they throw it in a basket and put some trash in there to fluff it up, they charge me all this extra money. I just, mm -mm, I'm not with it. But my Eastern Star chapter, we had to um, donate five baskets. So it is what it is. But my 
my children. I saw this one basket I did want to get jelly. It was a frozen basket. It actually had stuff in it. But that joker was $23. I am not. I'm not. I'm not doing that. So, mm -mm, no. <clears throat> no. But, yeah, everything just... As I keep saying, the kids of today's society, I feel like they missed out on the good life. And I know my mom's generation probably said the same thing about, you know, kids that came up in my era, but they missed out on the good life. But I feel like we still had some good stuff. But these children nowadays, they they just don't know what they missing out on. Because they really get the short end of the stick for real. Baby, that is not an Easter day. But I'm about to pull up on um, Douglas Donut and go get me some donuts. And then I'm gonna get home and uh, get back to work. Hey y'all, so it is now two o'clock. And I just feel like I am ripping and running and all over the place and I am not getting stuff accomplished. I just feel like this whole entire week I have not been um, getting as much done as I need to get done. And then I'm going out of town tomorrow. And I have, I just feel all over the place. I can't stand it. Now I'm on the way to Zoom over here, pick Jelly up, drop her off at gymnastics, drive all the way to the West End to, um, meet one of my sisters to give her these Easter baskets for our, the event this weekend that I cannot attend because I'm going out of town and then drive all the way back from the West End go pick Jelly up from gymnastics and run whatever other errands I need to run I need to go by Best Buy I was right by Best Buy this morning, but because they don't open until 11, I could not handle the business I needed to handle, which would have definitely been convenient. I drove past there twice this morning. So, it's just like the the, the, the ripping and running, and it's, it's like it just don't stop. You see my eyebrows, I ain't, ain't even have time to do nothing with myself today. I just got on a shirt and some shorts. Um, but the, the ripping and running and just, this, see, this is why I need to go out of town if I can by myself, like I'm going to do, and relax my mind. Although I do feel mentally relaxed as far as, you know, coming back from my trip, but I think that's why I feel like I'm not being as productive as I want to be because I'm so relaxed. I got all these ideas in my head. I have all this stuff I want to do. I want to revamp this, revamp that, post this, post that, get this done, reorganize that. And it ain't enough hours in the day for me to accomplish all the stuff in my head I'm trying to accomplish, like right now. And if you know me, you know I'm not a very patient person. So it's like I want it done now. I don't want to hear nothing about, oh, just do one or two things a day and mark it off the list. No! I want it done now. And I want it done right. Nonetheless, that's not how it's going. So, um, I've never looked way over there and saw that house before. So, nonetheless, I'm driving myself crazy. I really feel some type of dishonest within myself um, because a piece of me is like, no, you don't need to be going out of town this weekend. We just went out of town last week for the week plus some. Um, you need to be staying home trying to accomplish the goals you're trying to accomplish. But I need to live life also. Um, so I'm battling within myself. Oh, I'm going though. Don't get it twisted. I'm still going. But I'd be lying if I said that I really wasn't thinking that I really need to stay home and work on what I want to work on. Because I really want to stay home and work on what I want to work on. I really want to be in two places at once. Mm -hmm. 
anyway, switching topics. So I got a phone call today from one of my high school uh, male best friends, and I was so happy to hear his voice. So so happy to hear his voice because we really don't talk um, a lot. When we went back and checked our receipts today, it's like we we might hit each other up once every six months. And like, he's never even met my husband. And I've been with my husband, what, going on 12 years? This year be nine years married. Well, we've been together this year, 11 years, married nine years this year. And he's never even met my husband. And it's sad. Especially because he lives in the same city that my husband is from. But, yeah, so we say we're going to do better. I miss him so much, man. Like, we, we just we talked about everything. Everything. But, you know, life, life happens. But anyway, because we, um, he was calling to tell me he wasn't going to make it home this weekend for the event that I'm going to is for our school so that we graduated from. It's an alumni event. But anywho, nonetheless, when I go to Tallahassee, I'll see him when I go there, which will be next month. So anyway, that's neither here nor there. We're going to do better. We, gonna, we need to do better because tomorrow is not promised. Okay, and if anything was to happen to him, I would be devastated. Absolutely devastated. But yeah. So I think I need to listen to some music to relax my mind. You know what? I got like a gajillion phone calls I need to return. Let me start returning some phone calls. See, I don't even have time to listen to music to calm my nerves. Y'all, this ain't healthy. Okay, it's not healthy. But I tell you what I, I'm gonna tell you what I am gonna do this weekend. I'm gonna listen to plenty of music and relax myself plenty. <laughs> so you know. I'm gonna show everything I bought, but it, I can't fit it all in there, y'all. But this is the majority of um what I it's stuck to capacity. I could barely close it. You can't even see all the stuff that's in there. Um, oh, I should have put that price tag on, but it's barely.